Good morning everyone. Welcome back to the vlog. I have a really exciting few days and I was like, I gotta get the camera out. We just made some breakfast, I made some avocado toast with eggs, um, cilantro, hot sauce, you know. And I'm just getting started on working. I'm about to take my hot girl walk soon. And for those of you that aren't on the hot girl walk game, just do it. Essentially it's two to three miles or more. I usually do about 10,000 steps, so about five miles, um, about 40 minutes. And it is just, it's great. Release your inner thoughts, listen to a podcast, get in the zone. I love taking it in the morning. Um, and then tonight I'm hitting the park with my friend Cher and we're gonna make some Aperol spritz. I can't wait, it's gonna be a really, really beautiful day in New York City. Um, and I'm taking you along with me. gym and back from my hot girl walk so normally I don't do the gym and a walk in the same day because it's like a lot on my legs but we did today because I did a little bit of a shorter walk it was great I feel like I'm really seeing progress with my gym routine I know I keep saying I need to film a fitness journey I need to film a fitness journey and I just haven't but I noticed today I was like dang my butt looks good okay those hip thrusts coming in so anyway um, I just made a protein shake. I'm gonna drink that as well as I forgot to take my collagen today I was like lifting and I was like, why do I feel kind of lightheaded? It's like, oh, yeah, didn't have any protein today. So naturally I'm feeling a little bit off but I'm Gonna have the protein shake and then I need to make lunch um, And then I got to work for a few hours. It's a beautiful day. So like I said, I'm gonna hit the park I need to pick up some ingredients for the spritzes and I'm just in a really good mood You know weather weather does something to you Here's my outfit of the day for the park. I'm running so late. Um, I have this button down from Anthropology that I tied up and then this jean jacket that's super old from Forever 21. I wanna get a new one. Um, the skirt is Brandy Melville. It's a skort, perfect for the park. And then I'm wearing my platform Converse and I'm gonna head to the liquor store. Good morning everyone. I am awake. I'm alive. My skin looks a little weird. It's because my sunscreen, this fabulous La Roche-Posay sunscreen, um, has a white cast. So I'm going to get used to it. I'm using it up. It actually um, burns my skin, especially after using a retinol. So I really don't want to use that anymore. Um, yes, I went on a date last night and it was interesting to say the least. Eating in New York is always like very strange because I feel like a lot of people either don't want to go on actual dates because of COVID and just commitment. So they'll put you in like a group date setting, which is fine, but it's kind of like you never actually really get to meet them. So they just become social friends that, you know, you're interested in. But last night I felt like I totally signed up for the wrong thing and I'm laughing about it now, but it is what it is. Essentially, I thought I was going on a one-on-one -on -one with this guy that I had been seeing very casually and um, come to turn, come to come out to it, um, there were like 10 people there and I was like, hello. So it was, um, yeah, it wasn't up to par, so I will not be talking to him again. <laughs> But I met some really fabulous people there and it's just such a small world. Like you forget about how many people know whether it's your place of work or they know a friend of a friend and it is just, New York is such a small world, especially when you're in like a millennial age group. It's crazy. Anyway, what I'm doing today, I'm about to go on a hot girl walk in a little bit and then I'm just gonna be working. It's a low key day. I'm really excited though because my soft frame bed comes today. Um, no more annoying box spring situation. I can finally have a bed. Um, and then I should be getting a package from Motel Rocks. I ordered a dress as well as some shoes from 12th Tribe for Vegas this weekend. So, should be a good one. All right, first package is here. The shoes, 
The first pair I got from Bellini were these really cute little kitten mules. I just wanted to get a nice neutral colored mule. I have a black pair from them. This one, if I can get this out of the wrapping. This one is a super cute like croc mule. I thought this would be so cute. Spring and summer, perfect with jeans, skirts, etc. The second pair I got are these really cute little lace-ups. Um, also perfect for spring and summer. I feel like every summer you gotta get a white shoe. It gets absolutely destroyed, but it's worth it. So these have these crisscross straps and it laces up in the front. I got both of these on sale in a size seven. I believe they were $45 each. So really good deal for Bellini shoes. I'm gonna try them on right now. Here's the first pair. They're definitely a little snug around the toe area. So they'll probably loosen up with wear, but I think they're so cute. They're such a beautiful cream color. And of course, they make your legs look long. All right, here's the other sandals. These are just to die for. They're so cute. The only thing that are hard about shoes like these is that they technically don't have a strap so they feel very loose. Um, what I like what they did is that they did create a little backing here, but like you can see my foot is kind of flying off, but the heel is super easy to walk in. They're gonna be so great with dresses, with skirts. Um, these are definitely gonna be my go-to summer shoes. Big day, you guys. My soft frame bed is here. I'm so excited. I will say that shipping took a really long time, about three weeks for it to come, and I honestly wasn't really sure what I was expecting. Um, it literally has no support, so I think it is very important that you get a sturdy box spring because I was expecting there to be a little bit of padding on the actual um, frame, but the frame is just like a little protective sheet. Um, and then it's obviously like the plushy frame itself, but it looks so good. It's, it's a splurge item. I paid $500 for it. So I think next time I would probably just get a standard bed frame only because it's more supportive. And I, I don't hate the box spring, but I've always had um, a bed frame of sorts, you know, like wooden slates and a headboard. Um, and I got this for a really expensive price. So hopefully it's worth it. Um, but I, I do love it. I love the way it looks. It perfectly matches with the aesthetic of my apartment. It definitely makes my bed a lot bigger with it, but I like that because I felt like it was a little weirdly proportioned before. So now we've got that and I promise I will do an apartment tour very soon. <laughs> 